We honor today a man whom probably few of our students have ever met, but whose presence has loomed over all their and our lives. He was a good lawyer, a great politician, a thinker, a debater, a great speaker, a leader of Singapore, and an influential player on the global political scene. I count myself lucky to have served and to live in an improbably successful city-state that bears the stamp of Mr. Lee's extraordinary leadership and vision. Nothing any one of us can say can ever add to the enormous stature of Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. We are mere lesser mortals. We have lost a great man. The loss is not only Singapore's, but it is the world's. In honoring Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, we remember all who came before us and on whose shoulders this improbable nation was built, succeeded, and shall forevermore prosper and thrive as one united people. I was very touched and very impressed by the spontaneous outpouring of grief and the commitment with which Singapore citizens and others have shown their respect and sympathy for Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, as illustrated by the very long queues of people who were willing to wait long hours to pay their respect to Mr. Lee Kuan Yew lying in state. Thousands of hand-scribbled condolence messages have been put up at public memorial sites. One of the most touching ones I have read was just a simple two-liner which read, 50 years ago you wept for us and our uncertain future. 50 years later, we now weep for you. I'd like to close with a few words from an ordinary citizen who wrote, and I quote, a death of a life so well lived holds up a mirror into our own. It asks the hard questions. How will I live? What will my life stand for? What is my legacy? <laughs>